What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about mobile home investing with no money or very little money. Chances are you purchase a course from us or someone else in this space and you're very eager to get out in the field. The issue is, again, you have no money or very little money, so what do you do now? Yes, we wanna help you get started. We're actually gonna give you four strategies to get started with no money, but before we do, go ahead and give us a like and leave us a comment below, and thank you so much for watching. Yeah, guys, to be honest with you, we started off with this problem ourselves. It is a very normal problem. If you haven't watched our story, if you don't know our background, we actually lost $30,000 on our first mobile home transaction. We actually got scammed. And then our second deal, we had $60,000 invested into our second flip. And it actually took us over 15 months to make a return on that money. So when we started, we were very, very cash strapped. We had to think of alternate ways to get our business off the ground. Yeah, and so what we ended up doing, which was another mistake, is that we focused so much on creating passive income to get out of our jobs that we weren't really focused on creating revenue and cash flow in our business um, so that it can really run on its own. And so what we discovered from that is that you have to focus on revenue first. You have to focus on getting cash into your business first. Yeah, chances are you've already taken some time, you've taken some money to invest in yourself in a course, or again, you probably went through YouTube University, you use your own money on one deal, but we're saying you gotta focus on driving as much revenue in your business as possible before focusing so much on passive income deals and you know fix and flip opportunities. Let the business build enough revenue so you can take all that stress away from yourself. Yeah, so that's why we wanted to introduce to our students multiple ways to do these deals with no money so that it's a lower risk investment for you so that you don't have to worry about, hey, I have all my money tied up in this one project right. and now I don't have money to keep my business floating and I don't have money for the next project. So these are just strategies that you can use to build up capital, build up cash in your business first so that you can focus on those passive income investments. And we are future. not perfect. We are not perfect by no means. These are just our recommendations and we wanna share with you the journey that we took to get to where we are now. So we hope this helps. So strategy number one is brokering. You know I love the yes. brokering strategy. Yes, uh, brokering allows us as investors to simply arrange the deal so that your seller walks away with as much as possible regardless of if they're trying to stay in the retail space or even the wholesale space. And you know I like not having to go out and only look for deals that are under $5,000 or yep. only those free homes or begging park managers for homes, right? Yeah, because that can get really exhausting when exactly. you're just giving lowball offer after lowball offer, and you're really not getting anywhere fast with that. This allows you to open up that pool of sellers that you can work with a whole lot faster. And so what we love about brokering is that you're able to kind of build up your pipeline, you're able to build up your inventory and have a lot of consistent income coming in. Yeah, you're gonna be able to serve more people. To be honest, this business strategy alone can generate you six figures a year if you focus on it. Mm -hmm. You know, we love being able to just serve people regardless of what they need. We want to be able to help them walk away with what they need and what, with a smile. Yeah, and this allows you to position yourself as an expert when people come to you, when buyers come to you looking for properties, you have a whole <laughs> list, you have your yeah. own virtual dealer's lot. It makes you look a lot more professional like you've done this before. So strategy number two is OPM or other people's money. So I know you talked about in the beginning of this video, you know, how we got into real estate, we lost a lot of money and we had to figure it out fast. And what we did was we leveraged our credit. Responsibly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go out there. I mean, we, we don't advise to use this strategy if you're not responsible with money. But yeah. what we did is we were able to um, con connect with a company that allowed us to leverage our credit by taking out 0% um, interest credit cards for either 12 to 18 months and we we're able to cash those out and use that money in our business. Yeah, and we needed the money. You know, we were finding all these opportunities, but because we had so much of our own money that we lost, 
We had to use this money in order to run our business, you know, fund these deals, fund our operations. If not, I don't think we'd be where we're at right now. No, so we always say, hey, if you're short on cash, you need funding for your business, use the bank's money, they got it. <laughs> and, and don't forget uh, other people's money. We're talking about mm -hmm. JVing with other yeah. uh, mobile home investors. I think the easiest way you're gonna be able to do this is really being a part of a, a network. Yeah, especially a community like we've put yeah. together where you know, you've know you got people like Reed who are like, hey, I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars, I have I'm money. looking for deals. I need, just need the deals. And they're willing to work with you or even partnering together on a deal like- um, Lance and Jason. Lance and Jason, they decided to go in on a fix and flip together and leverage each other's money. They met in the community. They met yeah. in the community. They didn't know each other from Adam before they got involved in the community. They saw each other's engagement, so they were able to build trust. They saw where each other had knowledge. Even before they spoke to each other, even uh, Mark and Lee, yeah. they actually met in the Facebook met community. Met in the Facebook group, were able to do deals together, leverage each other's knowledge, expertise, yeah. and money. So <laughs> look for opportunities to work with other people or even leverage the bank's money to get past that hurdle of being cash Don't let cash strap stop you. Don't let it prevent you. Let's get past this obstacle, guys. So strategy number three is wholesaling. And if you're not familiar with this strategy, you're basically doing this. You're, you're agreeing to a price with a seller, and then you're um, marketing it and selling it to a buyer for a higher price and taking a fee in between. Yeah, we're not gonna go into too much detail about wholesaling. We actually did a whole video on wholesaling mobile homes. If you are new to this channel, definitely check it out. We'll leave a link below this video. But to be honest, this is one of our favorite mm -hmm. strategies as well. This is a six figure standalone strategy in itself. Many of the testimonials you guys see on our channel, many of those students actually use this strategy to get their first few deals under their belt. Yeah, and to add the cherry on top, um, <laughs> you don't have to make any repairs to these properties. We've had students sub properties in but it needed a lot of major repairs and they're still able to wholesale it and make a great fee. So. Yeah, and I'm talking about people being able to do deals with less than $500 in their pocket, guys. This is a major strategy within this industry. Do not sleep on it. Yeah, so be sure to check out that video. We'll tag it in this post. So we hope this is making sense and that you guys are getting value and understanding the concepts that we're giving you. Um, but what would we like them to do if they are? Man, if you guys are loving this video, <laughs> and you guys are loving these strategies, let us know below which strategy you choose to implement in your business moving forward. And strategy number four is creative financing. Now, from time to time, you will run into sellers where, you know, getting cashed out for their home just simply isn't the priority for them. They understand that they can sell it for cash at a discount, but they can get more. They can get the full market price if they're open to payments. Some of the sellers we run into are simply trying to get up out of the lot rent. They understand that they can sell the home faster on payments mm -hmm. versus waiting around for that full cash price. Yeah, and there's a lot of ways to be creative with financing. You know, you can um, be creative with this and it really just depends on what the seller needs and how flexible they are in actually getting payments for the full price of their property. So um, you can either, you know, the way you can get paid is you can either, you know, collect cash flow in between, you know, what the seller's cash flow, what you're paying them and what the buyer does, or you can even get paid out with their deposit and just get a lump sum fee. But this is a, a great strategy to have in your back pocket. It's not necessarily one of our most popular strategies, mm -hmm. but we've used it, our students are using it, and it's just great to be able to help the seller without using your own money. Guys, we hope you got a ton of value out of this video as always. If any of these strategies are confusing to you, let us know below in the comments. We are here to help and serve you. If you're ready to get your mobile home investing journey off the ground, go ahead and tune in to our free webinar below this video. Yeah, and if you're ready to join the Trailer Cash Academy family and accelerate your growth, we're also gonna leave a link below this video to apply to join the team. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do, and we'll catch you on the next one.